Greetings in the name of Yahusha Hamasiak, the head of this ministry, and on behalf of him, on behalf of the Holy Spirit, our greatest teacher, we would like to welcome you all. Uh, for those who have been following us, welcome once again. And for the newcomers, welcome to the truth. This is the truth, this is the biblical truth that will give you the passport to enter his kingdom if you choose to obey. What we have covered was the, the choices that one has to make in this new year, 2019, and of course, maybe forever. Eternal death and eternal life. The eternal death, hopefully from our hearts. I'm speaking on behalf of the ministry. The members of the ministry are present, and hopefully, when you choose to disobey him um, in time to come, not, uh, not long, you will realize about this truth, this priceless truth, the hidden treasure, and you will soften in your heart, you will accept it, and cross the floor so that you look forward and choose eternal life. But before we go into that, um, there's, uh, there are many um, common questions. I'll just pick one today because I've only given limited time to be standing here. And that is the commandments. The commandments that be behind me. This is the many questions that came to me. There are Torah, there are 600 commandments. How can we follow the 600 commandments? Because the response was, because I said the commandments on behalf of the ministry and on behalf of the throne, that the commandments, no one can dispute that. The commandments, the 10 commandments that's right behind me is one's passport to the kingdom. <coughs> because the Aushas words, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. In Matthew 19:17, he said, if you want to enter life, do the commandments. And in Revelation 22, 14, and he said, blessed are they. He said, blessed are they that do the commandments. Why? Why? Why the commandments doers are only blessed? Because they'll eat from the tree of life and they will enter the gate into the city. That's clear like a noon day. If one doesn't understand that, I don't know. There is nothing wrong with the commandment, nothing wrong with the lawgiver. Never mind, you will say, look at your finger, one is pointing and four pointing at me at you. Right, I'll accept that. But what I'm saying on behalf of the ministry, on behalf of the throne, this is clear like a noonday. Yahusha Yamasiya, his statement, Blessed are they that do the commandments, that they will eat from the tree of life. And this is what he said, and they will enter the gate. That is the words, the statement, uh, he guarantees the host and the owner of the new kingdom. So, he said, if you want to enter life, do the commandments. He was responding to, uh, to a boy that approached him. Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? I'll begin to speak in Fiji now. The King of Kings 
and lots of lots. Saka yokoya. Ndo sa da kama na nomu imuna ngo. Ndo na kana wakito kima na kana ni mula. Ndo na duro kina mata mata ni koro kina la mani koro. That goes. Sige ndo ndo ibima. Kima kanga ndo ibima chiko mai ibima rogo mai. Saka naya. Sa osa na wali mula le loureki na wir na sa sena chiko ni bakasa mabando don. I hope none of us. Will 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 go there. So to kuni ngayani na bosa ni yahu sha hamasiye kenda sa zingoma. Yes, my lord, I'll accept that. So with few other people, they question me. You said about that. How are we going to to leave this six hundred, six hundred uh, more than six hundred? I think six hundred thirteen um, commandments. If you see, I'll ask the members of the ministry if we could read Matthew 22, 37, 38, 39, 40. We have covered that many times. I just want to bring it back to answer that question. I didn't answer those questions individually. I waited till I come to behind the pulpit and I answer the question. It's a lot easier for, for, for us. Matthew 22, 37, 2, 3. He said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Can I have 38, please? 38. This is the first and great commandment. 39, please. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Can I have 40? Listen carefully to 40. Listen carefully. Verse 40, please. Okay. Still on Matthew 22. Verse 40. Okay. Two, three. On and these, these two, two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. On these two commandments. We read one in 37 and 38 and 39. And we read another one. We read the second in 39 and this is how Husha said on these two commandments have all the 613 laws and the prophets he summarized it he summarized the law the, the law of love the law go naimu nao niloloma vikemu ni oni ataro lesumai this is the commandment of love one to four your love affair with God and from five to ten is your love affair with your neighbors So we came in, we were taking a car to the So I won't go much into that because we are concluding on the choices today from next week. We'll touch the Holy Spirit. We'll touch once again. We cover the Holy Spirit about two to three years ago. But we cover the Holy Spirit again because of the seal of God. That has been misunderstood and misly preached. But we will cover it ne next week. Because the seal of God, one of them, is the Holy Spirit. But the Nadal and Nino, my son, and no way of Sam, make me go, but at the Nayalo Tabu, such a way came you, when I got to much home in Lewea, we have Sandranga Titalanga, whatever it is, it has a sign. A city bangle. Hear from us next week. Glory, hallelujah. Back to the choice. The choice that you have made. Do not do that, Kaibeo. Oh, so what the kid and Kai would work you, oh, Sarah, tell Mandana Wayne. It was a shock. I want to buy it. Men, the beauty can they care a color. 
Mental parotak. Kok kamu ni nabi bagalaw tak kan cikgu bagalaw? I just listen without saying anything. Oni bia bagalaw tak kan cikgu nak kata juga ko. Oni nabi rendre cikgu nak menipu lah. Sinro ni ni tak kau bangko, sinro ni ni tak kau bangko. Cikgu ni sama de. Ia yang tuan apa kasar maya. Teka ko ay aw nang ono para mengu yang gona, mew marotak ka aw nada kau bangko, aw nada kau bangko, aw nada kau bangko, aw kau macam sada kau bauti. Kanga ko ay sa rochong ma, sa rohoda sa kila na kaya ko tukuna, aw bangko ay bakit wala tapo ita dia, ay sa rochong ma wedi. That's one choice. I hope he's not serious. I hope he'll cross the floor. So when you choose to disobey God, you will not respect this, you will not honor this. Though he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. As a kila isar tunga mas si nalebu, niyo tukun na kiko lo maniaw. Tala iroro kino gumunaw, sa kila isar tunga, wai ko sin lo manikoya. Wait, hindi na yung mga magala na mga pokaya. Ngo na no kwe, ngo na no imunaw, ngo na no na singatam. O na kana kina may nakaw ni mula, o na duro kina man kina mata mata ni koro, kina lo manikoro. This is the benefits of the 
newcomers. If there is a Holy Spirit, teto wasan daw kayo, I'll say it once more, and remo na tarato ko. Tara, scream about it, that's the truth. Balata na daw, he came as a confirmation. Why? Because he was present at Mount Sinai. When the commandments of understanding was given to Moses. The Holy Spirit stood right there when Ahusha, Yamasea, pointed at the, at the tablets and wrote the first commandments. And he spoke it. So what did he do? They lakomayukwaya, kwaya kayo Paula. Paul warned the Hebrews and told them the Holy Ghost, chapter 10, verse 15, the Holy Ghost is our witness. And he said, that's Yahusha, that this is what he said. I put my laws in their hearts and in their mind will I write them. The mission come accomplished and it's completed. to disobey the commandments. Two, three. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abnormal and the murderers and the womongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. lamba. <laughs> Kira nanda uya lewa, kira nanda ukila kabu kati emoro, kira sanda usoro kina bayi matakau, kira nanda ulasu kedenga. Sabotai bayi ira nanon reboto bota, enan rano sada uri kina nambuka, kena sulifure, iongo ane karoni mati. Amen. So you have listened to all that. The sorcerers, the wobongas, the murderers, the murderers, the idolaters, and all liars. Because the people enjoy doing that and enjoy being in their country. accept the commandments. I heard, I heard it from people when you disobey it so that is it says at the end that is the second death one is a physical death 
What is a physical death when you go six feet down or when your heart stops beating or wherever? So, and the second death, when you stand, I'm talking to the people who choose to disobey, when you stand before the judge designate Yama, Yah, Yahusha, and then you'll be thrown into the brimstone. It clearly says the brimstone and, and fire. So, you will only live once. O pulang dua, o mati bagarua. But they will let you go the second death. A lot of people are looking forward that they will die once and live twice. Ako ay rara biya talay talay raw raw. Er nam bula bula baka ramate magandua bula baka raw. Amen. So much for that. And all now it's a time to impart few words to the people who choose right from the beginning of 2019 to to the end of this year and of course and forever one thing before we start reading the scriptures one thing i have to say when you have chosen this boundary please get the heavenly glue and glue the bottom of your feet to remain and stay put in the boundary of holiness and righteousness and of course obedience the snake doesn't really want or entertain what you have done that you have chosen Yahusha The servants of God, 
in their foreheads. Kakaya teka ko mandeli boka zaza ni murubura. Sena wasa wasa sena kau. Kamalua mikito vola manda na andrena. Natamata ni nonda kalu. Emeni. You know, this is the people that have chosen, that have chosen to eat from the tree of life and enter the gate into the city. Please, can I have um, Revelation, Revelation 22, verse 4, please. Revelation 22, verse 4. Because we, what we have just read, what we have just read was that the angel has to seal um, the people, the servants of God, with their forehead. So we go into Revelation 22, 4, 2, 3. And, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead. Say, Manny. Erna raiza na matana, kanabolai enandrenra, nazana. Amen. So, he created heaven and earth. His name is Yahusha um, Hamasiek. His domain and authority is heaven and earth and the inhabitants, that's us. And of course, they will put on this seal that he is the creator. He is Lord God, the creator. Those are the three elements that need to be in that special seal. So everyone will be walking around. That's I'm referring to Revelation chapter 7, verse 2 and 3. Everyone will be walking around with a seal and his number is 7 will be in the center of that. They will be carrying that. What we have said before, there's going to be another Passover. Because if you're the one who disobey God, who disobey the Ten Commandments, what He commanded you, you do not want to listen. You prefer to listen to the pulpit. What is coming from the pulpit? The contaminated, contaminated scriptures and all that's coming from the pulpit. And you choose to disobey, to disobey God. There is going to be another Passover. The Passover in Egypt, we all know, the blood of the Lamb was all marked on the doors of Israelites and the Hebrews so that the angel of death will walk past. But this is a bit different, but it's going to be another Passover because of the people who already carry the sign of the Sabbath on them. And they already carry the sign of God. The angel of God will easily identify those who belong to God because they will be glowing. And the Yeah, 
anymore, it is going to be very sad. Because when the angel, when the ceiling angel walk past you, Esa wakamode sarana kina mate tawamundo, eternal death. Asakatane, it'll be well too late for any repentance. It's well too late. We always bring our Noah, our friend Noah. Millions were warned, only eight were saved. It's okay, fine with me. So he is the creator, or he was the creator. Can, can we just read John uh, chapter 1, 1, 3, and 14, please? John 1, one uh, verse, verse 1, verse 3, and verse 14, please. In English, 2, 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Thank you. And I want to give you some more of the word of God. I want to give you some more of the word of God. Amen. Verse 3, please. All things were made by Him, and without, without Him was not anything made that was made. So the word of God is the word of God. It is the word of God. It is the word of Verse 14, please. Two, three. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. Yekitua rida na nona yukuku ni sabakana yukuku ni lendo ambonga sabak tumburi mi vita manda vita mana sasina i enalolo makina dina. Amen. Thank you. That's Yahusha. He became flesh and he dwells amongst us and the people reject him because they didn't believe that that was him. Hallelujah. So his domain and his authority, like I have said, is heaven and earth. Can we just go into Psalms chapter 24, verse 1, please? We are almost concluding. Psalms 24, 1, we'll hear in English and we'll hear the vision translation. 2 3. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Amen. And each of the world who are killing us as in a kina, a baby one or kina. Amen. Thank you. One thing that I have to say, I, I don't care what anybody say. If the Bible says so, we uphold that. Yahusha said to John, John, write this in Revelation uh, 20, Revelation 20, 21. Can I have verse 2, please? Revelation. 21 verse 2 please 2, 3 and I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from God out from heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband Amen Dio kuyo kuchuni awa reitha na korotambu kuchiru selimu wu sala kusumbu maibu wana kulu mailo malangi for those who have chosen to accept the commandments, ten commandments, there's only ten, not six hundred. We have already, the members of the ministry and I, we have explained how that was divided into two and of course downsized by, by Yahusha. And that's Matthew 22, 37 to, to 40. So that for those who have chosen uh, the, the Ten Commandments and worship Him on His seventh day, that is the city, the new Jerusalem, coming down oh, from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, a dawn for the husband. That's the beauty, the beauty of that city made of pure gold, where there is no night, where there is no sickness, where there is no pain. It's only the joy of the Lord that you will be there with him forever and ever. So if you're looking forward there, please glue your feet, both feet in the boundary 
of his righteousness and his holiness. Also, while we're still in Revelation 21, I'm concluding. We are concluding on behalf of the ministry. Revelation 18, 21 verses 18 to verse 26. And you can read that in your own time. The beauty, the beauty of this city. Okay, from chapter 21, verse 18 to verse 26. But we will read verse 27. No, no abomination, nothing that does abomination will eat from the tree of life and enter the gate into the city. Two, three. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Kasasang sarendo na ka, and the wakasi silataka, and the zurukina. Sindu ikita na ka na, sinda ulasu, kuiranga ersabulai, and the nolawala nimbula, na lam. Amen. That's heavy duty. That's heavy duty and it's a reminder. One thing that I have to say, but it's a fact. You reject this, it's, it's biblical, but I'll bring it next week. ministry and on behalf of the Holy Spirit the greatest teacher without him we would be able to impart this <coughs> glory hallelujah on behalf of the members of the ministry and thank you on behalf of Mr. Engineer thank you for overseeing the equipment thank you so much you will do a right choice and we will meet you under the tree the tree of life. Of course, we might meet you at the entrance of that gate, the entrance to the to the city made of pure gold. Blessings come to you from the throne, from us to you, and stay safe. Remain in the boundary of holiness till we hear each other, each other next Sabbath. Thank you. Amen.